Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web fishing report. Well, the first of the weekly report supplements is due out this week, and as you're likely already aware, we changed up our format a little bit last January. We modified our print schedule from a year-long weekly printing to being weekly during the peak time of the fishing activity and success, April through November. This means that the glossy monthly issues can be found at your local newsstands throughout the month, while the weekly report supplements are only included in a yearly subscription to the Fisherman Magazine. This week's issue not only features the reports of the week, which have finally begun to show much improvement over past reports, but also includes additional feature content, including a look at spring herring runs in the surf, inshore wreck hunting for pollock and cod, backing down on a fish to improve your offshore game, and a look at some tips and tricks to improve your early season trout fishing success. We also added some excellent new web features at thefisherman.com this week, including the first of a two-part series I wrote on surf fishing out of Block Island. After my recent seminar at River Zen Tackle, which tackled, tackled fishing, block, island, and the surf, I figured I would throw together a little surf casting tour of the island's more popular spots with some tidbits of information I've picked up fishing there over the years. Lastly, I'd like to remind everyone that I'm still looking for pictures to be included in both the cover of the weekly report supplements as well as in the reports section of the magazine. Please email me your photos at recent catches at tlipinski at thefisherman.com and I can assure you the odds are quite high that you'll appear in an upcoming copy of the magazine. Moving on to the reports, we're going to begin in Connecticut as always, where blackfish and winter flounder seasons open up this Wednesday, April 1st. But you'd be hard pressed to find mang many anglers heading out with high hopes as the waters of Long Island Sound still remain in that 36 degree range. That being said, tackle shops are well stocked for those willing to give it a go and I want to see pictures if you find success. Reports of holdover striped bass improved dramatically this past week, and we had confirmed catches being made in all three of the major tidal rivers of the state, the Housatonic, Connecticut, and the Thames, and there have even been some isolated catches in a few of the smaller coastal tidal rivers as well. Moving on to Rhode Island, I won't even mention the cod fishery block, uh, off of Block Island aside from saying that the forecast looks promising, so don't give up on that fishery just yet. On a positive note, Mike Wade at Watch Hill Outfitters said that he's been selling night crawlers to anglers targeting both white and yellow perch and finding success in the Pocketuck River. We also received confirmed reports from several sources in Rhode Island of herring starting to filter into a few of the runs across the state. Any day now should also signal the start of schoolie mania at the West Wall. Will you be the first lucky angler to land a bass there this season? If so, I want to see a picture of it, so be sure to email me the shots. Then up in Massachusetts, ice fishing along the coast up on, and up on the Cape is slowly melting away at an alarming rate, but many of the inland lakes and ponds are still fishable. As open water becomes more widespread, anglers are quickly setting their sights on trout fishing, and the state has been feverishly stocking fish as nearly 500,000 brook, brown, rainbow, and tri tiger trout are slated to be dropped in the Bay State. On the salty side of things, word was of a few anglers poking around the North Shore with hopes of scoring the first winter flounder of the season. We got no word just yet as to how they made out, but I commend their efforts just the same. So there you have it. That's this week's web fishing report. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.